got to like use a bunch of different colors which are like my favorite I love it and I love that there's a liner and it's just like so warm so glittery so beautiful I love yeah I'm into this look whenever I do this look like on a regular basis like I'm a drag queen I love makeup I'll wear this like to work and people are just like wow and I think a lot of people like eyeliner I don't wear eyeliner all the time but when I do bitch I look good. Sexy. My boyfriend really likes when I do eyeliner. He told me, like, it just makes your eyes so sexy. I think because, like, I have smaller Asian-looking eyes. Yeah. But he always thinks my eyes are sexy. But whatever. Anyways, you guys, I had so much fun filming this tutorial. I decided for tomorrow's look, I'm going to film a simple... What did I call it? Simple... <laughs> simple smoky cat eye look so a lot of um of my subscribers been asking me to film like a my simple version of a smoky eye because I find a lot of women they don't have time to do makeup or a smoky eye so I have this one look in mind it's a cat eye it's a smoky eye it's subtle you only need to use a few colors and it's not that long it's so easy it's so simple and I think a lot of women they just don't have the time to apply makeup so this is my go-to smoky eye when I'm in a hurry so I wanted to I'm going to film this tomorrow so it's going to be my simple cat eye smoky eye no I think I'm going to call it my simple smoky cat eye tutorial it's really fun I love doing those type of looks and I also did on my channel I think I wore a red lip my my version of quick glam everyone loved that because I do such a dramatic look on my channel all the time I think a lot of people like want to know like how I get ready quickly and how I do it because sometimes I don't have time to do makeup but I just do like really simple makeup looks and then also I want to film like a romantic 
makeup look I think will be fun like very romantic like really like like I want to do a really like simple eye with a simple lip like a romantic date night look yeah romantic date night makeup look I think that I would do that that would be a lot of fun and I'm wanting to use this white glitter from MAC on my channel which I love one of my favorite glitters I think it'll be so pretty with a romantic look anyways you guys I got tons more ideas to film for you guys especially because we're in quarantine right now so I'm gonna have so much fun filming and I hope you guys like this tutorial and keep on watching to get this look and don't forget to subscribe Oh my god, I'm talking so fast. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hey, you guys. I'm just kidding. I always think I look so scary when I just have, like, foundation, concealer, powder, and eyebrows, and you just see my eyebrows. I look scary. So I'm going to do a cut crease for you guys, but I just thought I would do my base. It's actually a glitter cut crease, and I'm so stoked for this look today. It's actually not that hard of a look. No, know everybody gets really intimidated with cut creases, but they're not that hard. You just got to take your time and be patient, but we're going to start with contour first. Okay. I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D shade in my palette, the very dirty Kat Von D. But you know, I love this palette. That's why it's dirty. And we're just going to use the M530 brush. We're just going to go in with these two contour shades, the lighter one and a little bit darker. I have the window open today, you guys, because it's it's so hot outside. I went to do some errands um, really quickly this morning and to check on the shock and all that stuff because my mom, um, she kind of lives far away and she doesn't have time to do that. This is a check on everything and I check mail. Um, yeah. It's so hot here in Vancouver. I was like sweating my ass off. And then I came back to my apartment. I was like, I had to take my clothes off because it was so hot. Fit Hula bronzer. I'm just going to use this E2 bronzer brush. I love this brush. It's really soft and applies the bronzer really beautifully. And I think I'm going to go in with Hula bronzer and Hula caramel. I used this in my April current favorite video and I loved it. I always like to mix the two because I don't want to be too dark. And I love Hula. It's like one of those bronzers that like... It's like a good bronzer. It's definitely like well known. Because I'm so pale, I think this bronzer will be really pretty for my pale ass. I don't know why. My back always hurts. It's because my tatas are so big. Okay, we're just gonna dip and just a bake. Hold on, guys. I have so much makeup, I can never find any brushes that I want. Yeah, I'm going to use the M441. I've been loving this brush lately just because it's so soft and it's more like a longer tip. It's not as um, fluffy because for a cut crease, I always like a more precise brush to get in that crease area. So for a cut crease, you want to basically apply all the color right in the crease. That's why. Okay, I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna go in with Pooter. It's like this medium brown transition shade. So just like that much, just on the tip. And just tap and just go in the crease area.
don't like um you don't have to be like super precise with this look but like precise enough you're gonna fix it later just right on that line of the crease Okay, now I just want to apply some Fenty um, Lavender Powder. So this is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Lavender. I love this because it has a really nice, a brightening effect. So we're just going to pat. And we're going to play with some, like, darker purples and oranges and magentas and I don't want to fall out. Especially like for a cat crease, you never want to fall out. It looks scary, but it's gonna come together, guys. It's a little powder on the nose. Okay, we're just gonna use that same 441 brush and go in with that pooter shade. Top the excess off, and we're gonna just continue applying that color. This part, we're gonna just extend it a little bit. We more want to focus, like, like the blown out part is okay, but I just want to basically not apply any of that shadow on the actual lid. We want to focus more on the crease, if that makes sense. And then you can just, like, extend it. Like, that color is okay because we want it blown out, but we don't want any shadow on the actual lid, if that makes sense. This look, this eyeshadow look is going to be pretty high, but don't worry, we're going to fix it with concealer after. Perfect! Okay, I think I want to go with the orangey look. I'm going to go in with this color. This is called Hunt. It's like a really bright orangey red. I know it's a little like overpowering, but it's basically just going to tie the look all together. And we're just going to use the same M441 and just dip a little bit. Like I just did two taps and just a tap off the excess and continue in the crease area. And we kind of want this to be an ombre look because we want it to be very gradual. Like that. Don't worry, I know it looks scary, but it's going to come together. And I'm going to use another brush. I'm just going to use this M505 brush. Um, there's no eyeshadow on this product and I'm just going to use this just to blend a little bit. I don't want it like choppy. you move on to another eyeshadow it's gonna look chobby and it's gonna be harder to blend so always make sure that before you move on to any other shadows or to the next step that you make sure your eyeshadow is blended okay okay I'm gonna use a, this tiny guy what is this this is the JH40 but if you don't have this brush you can use the M506 but this is what I'm using for now okay we're gonna go in with the different palette I'm gonna go in with the bling boss palette from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill the vault collection I love this palette I, I love it it's such a beautiful color and I want to go in with this really pretty magenta color 
Rockstar. If you guys know I love this shade. It's just like, oh, it's really pretty. I'm just going to mainly focus on the tip and just access, tap the access off and just focus right in that crease area. Just like there, yeah. It's choppy, but don't mind, we're gonna blend. Then use the same M505 brush and just make sure that's all blended. Like that, yeah. That's a little better. Okay. And then use the M441 with that orangey color. And then just use that to blend a little bit, yeah. Basically, like, want to build that color. And then just, like, let it blend, yeah. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to move on to the smokiness part. I'm going to use uh, this brush. This is the JH33, but you can, if you don't have this brush, you can use the Morphe M433. So we're just going to go in with a royalty, this really sh um, sparkly, shimmery purple. And we're going to mix it with that Rockstar, uh, Rockstar shade from the Bling Boss palette we were using. I'm just going to... This is a little too sparkly. I used this in my last video. It's really pretty. And that rock star shade together. So we're going to make like a purpley magenta color. I love mixing colors. And we're just going to put this on the outer corner of the lid. Just tapping it into the outer corner. Like that. Okay, and then make sure it's blended with that M505 brush with no product on that brush. And I'll use that same orangey color just on the top of that crease where it meets that purple and just make sure everything's blended. No harsh lines. And then go again with that rock star color and that shimmery royalty color. And do the other eye. Okay. And use that clean M505 brush to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then use that M404. One brush. Okay, now for the fun part, I just need my concealer brush. Okay, we're going to use the M421, and I was using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light um, on my face, and I want to use the same concealer. Okay, we're just going to tap that lightly in the brush. This is my favorite concealer brush for applying a cut crease just because it's really small and kind of round. It's going to get in there. Okay, so you just want to basically tap and basically cut your crease. near the end just like tap okay that's good and then um while that concealer is still pretty tacky i'm gonna go 
we're going to go in with the Arm and Gorgeous palette and go in with that VIP shade. And I'm going to use a MAC 242 brush. Just want to like soak that brush. This is like a really pretty white, shimmery white. We're just going to spray the brush. And just pat that in the inner corner. I love this color. I've never actually used this on the lid, but it's pretty. I want for this look. There. Ooh, girl. Okay, now that we just got that white shadow over there, we're just going to use this tiny guy again. Okay. And just go back in with Rockstar and the shade Hunts together. I just want a really prominent cut crease. In our corner, and we're gonna go back in with the white again and make it more perfect. And don't worry, it's, it's gonna look bomb. Okay, we're gonna do the other side of the cut crease. I'm just going to go back in with that VIP shade on this eye. And then spray my brush just in case because I want this look to really pop. Just lightly. Okay. Now we're going to have some more fun. We're not just going to like stop right there. I'm going to go in with this pretty gold color. This is in the shade called Queen. One of my most favorite golds ever because it's really, really gold and it's really shimmery and it's really pretty. It's just bomb. We're just going to spray our brush and then just put it where that purple and that white meet. Just like that, just like gradually. Like that. Like that. And then we're just gonna go back in with the purples. Whenever I do a cut crease like that, like I always go back and forth just to make it more perfect. So you're just gonna go in with that royalty color and that rock star shade and just pat the inner corner. Just to make it more perfect. Like really blended. I don't wanna be like purple, gold, white, and like, I don't know. I think it looks better when you like go back and forth and just make it look perfect and more. Tapping. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna use that VIP shade. Just going in the inner corner there. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm going to use a Big E18 brush from the Elite Collection from Morphe. Just going to go in with Pooter just on the lower lash line. And we're just going to connect that line. M423. I'm just going to go in with that royalty color, this shimmery purple. And just tap that into the brush. It's definitely coming. And you just want to stop where the lashes stop because we don't want it too close to the inner corner because it's it, near the end of the day, like it'll just be black everywhere. Okay, we're just going to use this pencil brush. This is the JH38. And we're just going to go back in with that Hunt's color. So whatever we use on the topper lashes, the topper lid, we're just going to use in the bottom lid. I'm just going to tap really gently in that color. So not like blow it out a little bit. I'm just gonna use here's my Kylie brush. I can never find any of my brushes. Here she is. Here she is. And we're just going to go in with that Hunt's color because I want it more blown out than this. I look in real cute. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner. I'm just going to use this MAC Fascinating um, Eye Cool. This, what is this called? It's Eye Cool in the shade Fascinating. I'm just going to sharpen that. that sharp. If you sharpen your um, eyeliner pencil and it's too sharp, just like rub it on your hand because you don't want it too sharp and like near your eye, you'll poke your eye out. I love this white eyeliner from them. If you ever feel like the shadow is too high and not blend it, you can just clean it up with concealer after. Looks way 
better. I always do this trick. It just looks a lot cleaner, you know what I mean? Like, you know, do a cut crease, you gotta do it right. <laughs> but you guys don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, now I'm gonna put that a palette. Oh, what? I wanna do something different for my brow bone highlight. Just because I'm feeling ballsy. I really am. I want to use these um, these artist couture. I think it's this one I want to use. So this is um, the artist couture diamond glow powder. So um, artist couture was the ones that came out with the glow powders or like um, powder highlights. He was like one of the first ones that came with it. Mac Daddy owns the brand. And yeah, he was like one of the first ones. And then Kylie came out with hers. Anastasia came out with hers. There's a few other brands that came out with Blue's highlighters, but he was one of the first that came out with it. I've heard he has the press highlighters, but they said it's not as good as his diamond glow. Like this stuff is pigmented, but he was the first one that came out with it. And it just started becoming a rave. And I love this stuff. You can get it at Sephora or his, like it gets, a lot everywhere but it's really like beautiful but I want to put this on my brow bone as a highlight I might use this for a cheek highlight too yeah I have like I think five of them like it's pigment I'll swatch it for you guys like oh girl okay mm -hmm. Whatever. We're just going to leave it for now. For inner corner, I think I'm just going to use in light. Just because. I'm just going to spray the brush really quickly. Okay, and then we're just gonna use the Arm and Gorgeous palette. Just gonna go in with that VIP shade. Just because I wanna give it some extra light. Just like really softly though. Just like. You know? Ta da! Okay. For um brow, not brow highlight. Um, I would say that um nose contour. I'm just gonna go in with the shade Hula, just because um it's a perfect nose contour. It's not too dark, not too light. And for my nose contour, I don't want to go in with the darker caramel bronzer because it'll be too dark. Just really, really. It's a little harsh, but oh well. No, I'm not really going anywhere, so who cares? Contour, it like makes your nose pop, you know? Okay, now we're gonna apply a gel eyeliner. I need to find my eyeliner brush because I haven't done eyeliner in a really long time. Winged liner, so. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This is just the eyeliner brush I've been using for a few years now. I bought this at um, the IMAT show a couple years ago. This is the Royal Lamnacle. It's a brow pencil. 
like a brow, not brow pencil, brow brush, but I use it as eyeliner because it's really like small and kind of like narrow and tiny. I don't like too big of um, an eyeliner brush just because I think it's like hard to apply eyeliner, a wing liner. So I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline New York Eye Studio gel eyeliner and black is black this is my favorite eyeliner because it lasts all day i love using gel liner i don't use the pencils or the ink or whatever so i find you can make a mistake gel eyeliner is the best i love using this in my waterline my as my wing liner it lasts all day long doesn't smudges it's it's amazing if you're like crying waterproof or whatever okay this is how I do my liner. So basically, I start backwards. Like this. Okay, I'm going to use more because that's not enough. We kind of like go backwards and kind of play with it. I can't really see in the camera, but you know what? I'm just going to take my mirror so I can't see you guys from there. I'm just going to apply my mirror here so you guys can see Is that better. Yeah. Okay. And then I just like. And align it together. Okay, this thing is empty. I have another one though. Don't worry. I have the Morphe one left. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Morphe gel eyeliner in the shade Jet. Because that Maybelline one is, um, I don't have any more. So I'm just gonna use this one. I do like this one as well. I'm just gonna fill that middle part in. eyeliner I don't want it like super dark so I make a line okay and then I hold it and you kind of go back Don't worry, we're gonna perfect it.
This one's a little too thin, so I'm just going back and forth. It's kind of like, oh, I hate doing eyeliner, you guys. We're just gonna. Okay. That's looking good. I don't want too much of a wing liner just because it looks funny, I think. Just saying. Okay, we're gonna apply glitter liner, I think. Or should I apply lashes first? I think I'm going to do glitter liner. So I'm going to use this Urban Decay Heavy Metal um, Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I love these. Because it's like they have a really thin brush. And it's so pretty. I want to have some fun. So we're just going to put this in the crease really carefully. I'm shaky, you guys. Oh. I want to do this before I apply the lashes because I'll get it on the lashes and I don't want that. Like, don't look up when you open your eyes. We're going to move on to mascara. We're going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Just because. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to apply lashes, but off camera. I'll be right back, you guys. Hey, you guys, I actually threw that Morphe eyeliner out because it was really dried out and it was only like $10. I think I had, like somebody gave it to me as a gift or I had it for a while. But I actually found this MAC one. This is, oh my god, I can't even see what it says. It's like all like, do you tear I'm just going to wipe it off. This is the Pro Long Liner. Pro Longwear Fluid Liner. This is one of the best eyeliners I love. And then the Maybelline because it's still really creamy. And because there was like little gaps, I just kind of like use my eyeliner brush just to fill it in a little bit. And then I use, I'm going to use this eye eyeliner from now on. Um, I'm just going to use, um, I use the Flutter Lashes in this uh, style Intoxicating, of course. That was really bothering me why that eyeliner wasn't working. And look at my hand. It's so dirty. Ah! I don't think I'm going to get that Morphe one. Usually I use Morphe all the time. And I have a brown one. It's like totally fine. So I don't know what's up. Sometimes that happens, but I think I'm just I'm just gonna stick with my MAC eyeliner and my Maybelline one because that's what I know. Yeah, and my Maybelline one and the MAC one have had for a while. They're not dried out. They're super super creamy. So I don't know why that Morphe one. Morphe like they'll come out with a brand that kind of has a defect, and I don't like it. Like I ordered one of their primers. It was supposed to be very similar to the Smashbox one, and it was liquid. And I was like, what the fuck? So I just threw it out. I didn't re return it or anything. It was like liquid. It wasn't. Yeah, I find like once sometimes. There's a product here and there from Morphe, and it's a defect, and it's not good. I'm just saying. They have bomb products, but sometimes they'll come up with defects like that. Okay. Anyways, for my story, I'm loving this eye look. I thought the glitter was kind of all over the place, but I think because my eyes are so small. But once I put lashes on, it's actually coming together. I'm living. That's done. 
We're just gonna deepen that bronzer again, and I'm just gonna go in with the Hula bronzer and the Hula caramel. Sorry, guys. Okay. I just gotta figure out what color I want. I think I want to go for like a rosy kind of color. So this is called Fleur Power. Fleur Power? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'll list it below if I'm wrong. I'm just going to use this Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill Blush Brush. This is the JH06. I'm just going to apply that. Really, I want to go for like a more pink blush today. I don't want as like peachy or coral. I'm into it. <laughs> I know it's like it's crazy, but don't worry. Um, I love blush and don't worry. Blush fades really quickly on me. And then we're going to put this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. And this is what diffuses my blush. Also, blush fades really quickly on me. I don't know why. Oh, look at my hands. My hands are so dirty. I'm just using the M500 from Morphe. My eyes. Okay, I'm going to use a different highlight here on my channel. I just need to find... How come I can't find anything today? This is so frustrating. my a goat hair i'm gonna go in with this to wear this is the powder highlight in the color citrine this is a really pretty highlight it's like very like kind of peachy gold i'll swatch it for you i love their highlights like it's pretty it's pretty Okay, we're just gonna tap this all over the skin. Sorry guys, I just have it. This is why I never wear eyeliner. I'm just so picky with my eyeliner and then like takes me forever and it's like such a perfectionist when it comes to makeup. Like ugh, I hate doing that. Put that brush down. Um, we're just gonna use a, my sponge because I love applying highlights oh, with the sponge lately. I'm just gonna tap in that citrine color just slightly. And just tap. Yeah. I just love how this looks. It looks really seamless and beautiful. Um, now I'm going to add more highlight because I'm extra. Oh yeah, I'm going to use the Artist Couture in Coco Bling because I haven't used this in a while on my cheeks and I want to. So we're just going to tap really lightly in the cap and on the brush. I'm really pale and this color is gonna look really pretty. Ooh. Wifey. It's such a beautiful color. It's, I think it's like one of my favorites. I have a lot of lip liners, so I have a lot to choose from. Okay. See, it's such a pretty color. It's like the perfect nude. Huda, yes. And she's so beautiful. She's like really, really pretty. 
I love like I don't love every product of hers. Like I love her liquid lips, her lip liners. I haven't used um, her powders, but a lot of my friends have, and they love it. Okay, just gonna apply this. Go in with uh, my signature liquid lip. which is the shade Mannequin because I think I want to go for a, like a nude kind of a lip color and this shade a Mannequin from Jeffree Star it has kind of like a pink purple undertone and because we use like those oranges and that kind of like magenta purple I think it's going to bring this color really beautifully. Okay. I'm just going to apply. Yes, and then I think I'm going to go with one of my favorites, Nude Lip Glosses. I'm going to go in with Kylie Lip Gloss in the shade is So Cute. This is one of my favorite lip glosses of all time, and this is her Palest Nude, and it's just it's so beautiful, very inexpensive, because I think it's only like $15 US for a lip gloss, which is pretty good, just saying. And just apply this all over. Okay, now I'm just gonna seal the deal one more time using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. What was that? I see something fly across the room. Oh well. I shouldn't open my eyes too quickly though. Okay, we're just gonna, ooh, just gonna apply some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel really quickly. I love this brow gel. So cute. Okay, and then we're gonna use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for Lower Lash Mascara. tutorial um yeah I actually love how this look turned out I did have uh, some struggles just with like the eyeliner because I ran out of my Maybelline New York blackest black eyeliner and I used that Morphe one but it was like really really dry but I didn't um like cut that out of the video just because I want you guys to like know that if you guys are struggling with makeup like always like work with what you have and don't get frustrated like, I didn't get frustrated and it ended up looking okay and I'm fixing it. Like, I know a lot of you guys struggle with eyeliner and it's really hard to do, but don't freak out. Like, I didn't freak out. I was a little frustrated because it was really hard to work with and it wasn't really applying on the brush. I tried, like, oil, setting spray, but you don't want to use oil when you are using eyeliner because it'll smudge throughout the day. And oil usually breaks down a lot of products. So I don't want you guys to get frustrated. I want you guys to try it again and I ended up I totally and because of that I was like looking through my little like tray of eyeliners I was looking through I found this a MAC one which I totally forgot that I'm obsessed with like I don't know if you guys are into makeup or like you know not um or like been wearing makeup for a really long time this is like a cult favorite this is a makeup artist favorite this is like um a film artist favorite this is a lot of people's favorite eyeliner because it's so creamy and I've had this for a while and it's still really pigmented and creamy you do get a lot it's about 20 something dollars like it's not cheap but it'll last you a long time and MAC gel eyeliner never fails and this is the pro long wear fluid line in black track this is one of my favorites all my girlfriends use this I totally forgot I had it and I ended up fixing like I just applied just on the tail of the eyeliner because when I applied that Morphe dry liner it kind of had gaps and then you can just go back in and just fill it with your like brush and just fix it because like this one was looking more bigger and then like I kind of worked it back and back but I don't want to cut that out of the video I want you to get 
I want you guys to know just because I'm an artist, a makeup artist doesn't mean like I don't fuck up on my makeup every now and then. It happens. But you got to like figure out how you can fix it and work with it. Don't freak out. You don't have to start over. You can just like go back and fix it. And that's what I did. And I want you guys to know that, you know, like not everyone can apply mer- like, I'm a professional. I've been doing makeup since I was, like, I don't know, 20-something. I'm 28 right now. So I've been doing it for a while, especially on myself. And you know your eyes the best. I just wanted – I didn't want to cut that out. I want you guys to know, don't freak out. It's okay. Like, makeup is makeup. You can always take it off. But I don't really like to start over purpose of the video. You can always go back and fix it. Just take your time. Don't freak out. You know, just be patient with it. And that's what I learned. You can go back and, like, you know, adjust everything. If it's, like, that ugly, I mean, you can start over. But I don't want to because I'm filming a video. But I kind of struggled. And, like, when I, before I applied the lashes, the glitters, like, it looked kind of smudging. But as soon as I applied lashes, it, like, popped. I was loving it. Like, Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I'll do makeup, and I don't think I did a good job, but then I'll apply lashes, and I'll start come together, like, that always shows, like, you know, it's okay, the look is going to come together, have faith, please, <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys, anyways, you guys, I hope you guys loved this tutorial I love doing a cut crease um I like that like it wasn't like a perfect video for you guys I struggled in this video and I wanted you guys to see that you know like it's okay that you struggle even though you're a professional and experienced like I struggle too it's okay and I wanted you guys to know like what I do every like all the time with these steps and this eye look was pretty easy to do like it wasn't that hard like I know it looks really hard but you just gotta like take your time work with it don't get frustrated I know a lot of girls get frustrated because it doesn't end up looking like how they want it but look at that end result I look beautiful and I love this look I do this look on a constant basis and everybody's like Wow, your eyes. And I just like the warm glitter cut crease. Like, it's beautiful. And this lip color, I had to do my my all-time lip combination with Kylie Lip Gloss and Jeffrey Mannequin. I love it. And I love it with this look because it has more of a purple undertone. And it complements, like, all the warmness going on in my eye. I love it. Yes, a bitch. Anyways, you guys, I hope you like this video. For my next video, I was thinking of doing a simple cat eye smoky. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it simple smoky cat eye look. So a lot of people have been asking me, like, what's my go-to, like, easy smoky eye that a cat eye look like that's sexy um I have a look in mind I only use a couple shadows it's super super easy to do but I thought I would film that for tomorrow because I think like smoky eyes a lot of people struggle with and this isn't going to be a really compli complicated smoky eye it's going to be a really simple smoky eye that you guys can do closing your eyes you can do it in the back of your hand it's so simple you can do it on your friends especially now we're in quarantine so do your siblings or whatever um but it's my go-to smoky eye I go on a regular basis like if I'm in a hurry I do this look and it looks effortly and smoke looks really smoky and kind of like I re I do this look um when I used to do runway shows I used to do makeup for fashion shows like one of my friends um he owns a fashion line and I worked the show with him and one of the makeup artists didn't show up I had to do 20 girls in an hour and then it was me and my other friend um we weren't friends when we met but we're friends now and she used to work for mac and her and i were doing it like i did this smoky eye for them and it's so quick so easy when you're backstage you can't do like a super crazy smoky eye you only have a few few minutes to do them and especially you're doing so many girls at the same time so i wanted to do my favorite quick simple smoky 
cat eye look for you guys. And I think you guys will really like it because you don't need, like, you can use any kind of shadows for this look. You don't have to use a lot of, like, it's not a really complicated smoky eye like I've done on my channel before. This is the smoky eye I do on a basis when I'm in a hurry. And I think a lot of women, like, they don't have the, t I think a lot of women don't take the time to do your makeup. I love makeup so much. I'd rather do my makeup than my hair. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I'll do my hair at work really early, early in the morning before anyone shows up to work. My mom doesn't care that much. But i rather do my makeup than my hair because I'm such a makeup lover. But I find a lot of women, they just, they find like they don't have time or in the, and like they're not really good at makeup. I'm good at makeup, so I know like how to time myself. I give myself every morning an hour and a half. That's how long I take to do my makeup, no matter what look it is. That's how long I take, and I think a lot of women, they think they don't have enough time, or they're not good, and they're gonna make mistakes, so I find a lot of women, they don't want to put the time, or they're, they're, they're lazy, or like, they just, or they have a kid, like, I don't have kids, so, like, when you have a kid, you can't really do your makeup, so this makeup look is only gonna take a few minutes, 20 minutes top for just the eyes, so I'll, 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 of course, do the rest of the face, just the purpose of the video. But this smoky eye I'm gonna do tomorrow is gonna be off, and I'm excited for you guys to see. Anyways, you guys, that's it for this YouTube tutorial. I had so much fun filming this cut face. You guys know I love to do a sexy cut face. I love doing cut face and like you know fun eye looks because you gotta use all these different colors. It's kind of want of fun, and I love using the glitter. Anyways, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you guys so much. And um, let me know about the comments below what other videos you guys like to do. A lot of you have been giving me crazy ideas, so I wanted to post some of these ideas. I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. Don't get sick. It's the reason that I'm here Everybody has a dream They're frozen by fear We won't dance in the rain We go and run for cover All there is to blame Is getting beat down by another So we go and find Someone that will love and support us Says they adore us Maybe fall for us Then we forget About ambitions and decisions Were changed I think that that was only seven When Oh Johnny run away Run away No Better call and run for coffee. Nah, 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 nah.